Hi, everyone. I wanted to do a short, well, I don't know how short it's going to be, a video about Google Partner Checkout and checking out directly on Google. And Etsy just announced, I'm not sure how long this has been going on, but they've announced that they're going to put Etsy listings that are in the offsite ads catalog in that section on Google. Now, this is not such a big deal because it, it's really not going to affect us that much. I honestly don't think that you should do anything different. And it's up to you if you want to go in, but I'm going to look at the pros and cons. I'm going to explain how this works because it's not the same as offsite ads. It's a completely different program. And I think I know why Etsy is doing this, but let's go over to my screen. I'm going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about and then give you my tinfoil hat theory on why they're doing this now. First, we need to look at Google to see what they're talking about, because when they're talking about offsite ads, they say that you have to be eligible for offsite ads to participate in Google Partner Checkout, which means you just do shopping on Google and people can check out on Google. They also have the option to go to your shop. So there's that. And they do show the description. It's all based on the catalog that Etsy uploads to Google to use for offsite ads. Now, I think the reason that they are saying, you know, you have to be in offsite ads to do this is because they think that people are going to go, oh, my God, I want to be on Google. I want it. You know, it's not. No, don't don't get that excited about it. And they want people to opt into offsite ads. So that's that's tinfoil hat theory number one. OK, so Google search results are set up with different sections. All right. So the first one is all that's generally what you see when you type something in. It's the first page. It's text results. It's all these pictures. It's that kind of thing. Shopping results is what we're talking about here. Now, at the beginning, it was around the beginning of 2020 or like right at the beginning of the pandemic where Google suddenly announced they're going to let people who have small businesses put their listings on Google shopping at no charge. And before that, it was all ads. But at the beginning, like at the top of the page, you do see ads. OK, now, if somebody clicks on one of these and it takes you to an Etsy listing, that's an offsite ad. However, these results down here are all free. So if you have something listed here and you can get your website listed in Google shopping, and that's what this whole thing is about, these are all free all of they're not promoted you don't have to pay to get them to get your listings in actually let's let's go over to uh let's look for purple edible butterflies because i do have my website catalog and i use this keyword all the time for demonstrations because i know i show up pretty well for it this is the shopping results these are ads at the top but then you go down here and look here's my website my website my website Here's my website and i'm not paying for this so all of these listings down here that you see on google are free, but you have to upload a catalog to Google Merchant Center in order to do that. And the Merchant Center is this. And what you have to do if you have a website, I would 100% do this, is to upload your feed. And your feed is a spreadsheet. You can either do it on here or you can do a Google Sheet and it pulls from Google Drive. It's just a spreadsheet with all of your products. And it's a pain in the butt to do, but it's worth it because you do get free listings on Google. Okay. And if someone clicks this, they'll go to my website directly. And I think they go directly to that listing. Yes. Okay. So they're going directly to the listing. And it, like I said, it's free. All right. So what Etsy is doing is they're using the offsite ads feed to drive traffic to Etsy through this free section. Okay. This is not offsite ads, but they say that you have to participate in offsite ads to be included in this. Again, I think that's one reason why they're doing it. They want people to opt into offsite ads. Don't do it just for that reason. I'm not going to op opt into it because, well, I have to do it in my one shop, but I'm not going to do it in my vintage shop because I don't want to pay for the offsite ads. No. And the chances that you're going to be found, because now we're competing with Google. We're not just competing with Etsy listings. We're competing with Google. We're competing with the internet. So we're competing with Macy's, Uncommon Goods, Oak and Luna, whoever they are, Nordstrom. These are... This is, it's going to be very unlikely, and it is possible, but very unlikely that your effort that you're going to put in to trying to optimize your shop for Google is going to get you found on this. So in my opinion, it's not really worth that. Okay. The other thing is that Google doesn't really care. They, they're very lax about logos and text and stuff on the first page, like on the listing photo for ads and for image search, but they don't like it in shopping. And what I've done on my website, because they did call me out on it, I got by and sometimes they let it slide. 
but sometimes they'll say we're not showing your listing because there's a logo on it. Okay. So what I've done, I've gone in and taken a picture that has no logos. I've put that on the last picture of every listing on my shop, but that's the picture that I tell Google to pull in here. So none of the pictures on Google shopping from my website have the logo, but it goes directly to my website. If you have any text or a logo on anything on the first picture on Etsy, it's probably not going to show it in these results. You don't see any logos here, right? And they don't really like this either. So this is the kind of thing that they might say, ah, that's kind of promotional, but they would contact the seller directly. It's a very blank canvas and it takes you to Etsy. I want to find a actual listing. And I think I was looking up women's jewelry before, and there was an Etsy listing here. Cause I want to see, I want to show you guys what it looks like when you click on this. Oh, see it's, there's just, there's not a whole lot of, you know, how much jewelry is on Etsy. I don't see any Etsy listings here. So the chances that your listing is going to be shown in this, in my opinion, is not worth the amount of work that it would take to go in and take all of the you know, take all of your logos off if you have that. And you want your pictures to have your logo on it for brand recognition, because you don't want people to say, I got this on Etsy. You want people to say, I got this from, and then the name of your shop. Let's go up here and let's filter because this is shopping results. But what Etsy is talking about is the buy on Google section. Okay. So this is the next part of it. If you just sort buy on Google, this might actually come up with some Etsy stuff because, okay, here's one. Etsy has now opted into this program and let's go here and we'll see what the listing looks like. So you see the description. Okay, this is probably not the full description because Google just pulls in the first part, but you have the option to add to cart right now, quick checkout, or you can visit the site. Okay, so if you visit the site, then it takes you to Etsy and you'll see the full description and everything. This is problematic for me because you don't see the full description and it, you know, it might, it might end up having people buying things without reading the full terms of your returns and that kind of stuff or whatever you want to put in your description. So I, I kind of foresee a, probably if, if you are involved in this, maybe a little more problems with customers, but it, you know, Honestly, I don't know how many people search this way. I don't know how many people buy on Google as opposed to clicking through to the website. And if you do click through here, it's free. It's not an offsite ad. So that's all right. You know, I think most people probably would go to the site. So that's okay. So there is a possibility that you might be found, but it's, it's very low. Okay. And again, you know how much jewelry is on Etsy. So this is not. Etsy list. There's one Etsy listing here, but this looks like a, a lot of vintage jewelry or something. So I, I don't know how they're deciding. They're taking it from, here's an Etsy listing. They're taking this from the offsite ads. You can't, so you have to opt into offsite ads. You can't use your logos on the picture because Google doesn't like that. They don't show the full description, but people do have the option of clicking through to Etsy. So that's okay. I also have a list of pros and cons here. Okay. This is free now. Who knows if it's going to be free forever? So that's not really a problem at this point, but just be aware that this might be a problem down the road. Okay. And honestly, this is not going to give you as much exposure as you think. Don't go turn on offsite ads just because of this. It's not worth it. If it's not worth it in your shop for your profit margins, it's not worth it. And I will show you, I was going to show you this picture is offsite ads that I have had people found me from Google, you know, from the Google ads and see there's a logo here. There's a logo here. There's a logo here. They wouldn't allow that if we're talking about the shopping results. Okay. So they're a little more lax with the ads because it's paid placement, not for the shopping results. So you would have to de-brand everything. And to me, that's not worth it. Number one, the effort is not going to bring you back a return on your time based on how much your visibility you're going to get for Google. I would rather have my branding on my picture so that people know they're buying from me. All right. So that's my opinion. You might disagree and you might want to go ahead and do this. It's up to you. I don't think that's this. I think this is offsite ad bait to get sellers to use offsite ads. And there's even another level to it, which let's go into the actual how it works. Okay. Um, so you know how partner checkout works. It's free to use but it has conditions that Google places on it. Okay, so we just looked at that. Let's look at the eligibility requirements. Okay, so first, now I called, I actually, I didn't call, I chatted with Etsy and they did not give me a lot of clarity on this. I don't know for some of these things. Okay, so first of all, you have to be participating in offsite ads. That's the first thing. You have to have offsite ads turned on. Okay, so if you don't want to turn those on, don't do it just because of this. There are bigger, there are bigger worries to think about with that, with the percentage that they take. 
Okay, this is only good for the US. Okay, you have to locate, you have to be located in the US and ship from the US. So that eliminates a lot of people right away. You have to be enrolled in Etsy payments, which at this point, everybody pretty much is. You have to be participating in Etsy's free shipping program. Now, this is what I called Etsy about, or I chatted with them. And you I, I said, is this, does this mean that you have to have free shipping guarantee turned on? Or is it just any listing that ships for free? And I did not get a clear answer. So I think the first thing he said is, yes, you have to have the free shipping guarantee turned on. Well, that eliminates my listings right away because I'm not turning that on. Because when I start adding up the weight of the things that I have shipping attached to, it's heavy and it costs more and I lose money. Okay, I, I'm losing too much of my profits with that free shipping. It's not worth it to me. I don't have the free shipping guarantee turned on. I just have some listings shipped for free and some don't. And then you also have to be in good standing with Etsy. You can't have a lot of cases against you or you can't, you can't be bad on Etsy. Okay, so you have to be complying with their terms of use. And then it says, additionally, in order for listings to be eligible, which doesn't make any sense to me because it's all listings. It's not. So I guess first they screen your shop and then they have the listings. So they must ship to buyers for free. So does that mean that the listings, does that mean that you have to have the guarantee turned on and ship everything for free? This doesn't make sense to me. Tinfoil hat theory is that this is all just to get people to opt into offsite ads and turn on the free shipping guarantee. And I don't have my tinfoil hat here but it makes total sense because we're moving into the holiday season and Etsy could easily have said, we're going to make this available to everyone who has offsite ads. I don't know how Google sets up the shipping. Google shipping is a little tricky to set up. I would have to go into the merchant center and look at how that's set up. And I actually am going to do this. I'll tell you what the result of this whole thing is in a bit, but I'm going to do this a little bit later today. And I think that I remember that there was something weird about Google shipping when you set it up. So it could be that just the free shipping is a lot easier to handle and Google prefers that. So Etsy thinks that's going to get them better visibility in these search results. But it says you have to have the listings shipped to buyers for free, as well as having the free shipping turned on, which is the guarantee. That's a little overkill, but I don't know. You also can't have variations, okay? Because since people can just check out, you know, they, they can click on this and then check out, you can't have variations because there's nowhere for them to put a variation in. It also can't require customization or personalization. So basically, if you have anything that's customized, it's not going to be included in this. If you have anything that has variations like size or color, it's not going to be included in this. So it just eliminates a lot of stuff. By the time you're done with all of these conditions, there it eliminates a lot of Etsy listings. This is not going to affect people that much, but unless you really dig into it, Etsy's making it sound like, oh, we're going to show all these listings. You probably will never be shown unless you hit every single thing and you have nothing in the first picture of your listing. And it's just a lot of maybes and a lot of mites and a lot of things being eliminated because of either Etsy or Google in their terms. It, I just wouldn't even worry about this, quite frankly. If you don't have a website, then it's not even something to think about. If you don't have offsite ads turned on, it's not something to think about if you've decided to not turn those on for a reason for yourself. And don't turn them on just for this because it's not going to get you that much more exposure. So that's my thoughts on it. The only thing that might come out of this is I might go over and see if I want to set it up. But if they're going to force me to take things for third, like take returns for 30 days, it's not going to happen. So that's it. Leave me any questions and I will talk to you later.